Welcome to another edition of Stadium Unplugged with me, Jay Menon. And today we're on location. It is a very funny one. It's Loftus Road, but right here in Kuala Lumpur. And the reason for that is, of course, who we have in the hot seat today. This man may have started out as an auditor with Virgin Atlantic. He then went into the music business with Warner Music. Subsequently, he went on to start a budget airline and now has a hotel chain based on the same no frills concept. In addition, this avid sports fan is also president of the Asian Basketball League, principal of Katam Formula One team and chairman of Queen's Park Rangers Football Club. He has been honoured in Malaysia as well as Japan, France and England. Welcome to Stadium Unplugged, Tony Fernandez. Now, I have to tell you, I've been hunting you down. <laughs> you're a very, very busy man. Now, you're on the, you know, the right side of 40. You've done so many things. I'm going to take you back to when you were a kid. Did you ever think you'd, you know, you'd be the person that you... No, I mean, you dream, and you know, if, if you'd asked me what do I want to achieve in my life, Formula One, football, and own an airline, and be involved in music, that would have been my perfect scenario. Did I ever believe that I would get involved? In, no. So I'm a lucky guy. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Okay, now taking you back to when you were a child, yeah. what kind of kid were you? Were you, you know, running around? You did, did you like sport? Yeah, I love sport. Uh, sport was my life, along with music. Um, in a different body. <laughs> any excuse to play football, any excuse to play hockey. Uh, I, I love sport. It was a very big part of my life. Big favorite sport that you say? Okay, this. Is, well, football this. was my favorite sport, but I went to school in England where they didn't play football, so that was a major blow in my life. They didn't play football in the school. No, that you went in the school to. I went to, no, it was rugby, hockey, and cricket. Okay. But I adapted. I loved rugby as well. So, uh, but football has always been my favorite game by far. Now, um, you know, I was reading your biography. We've got some similar, you know, situations. Indian family. <laughs> um, father's a doctor. Uh -huh. Was that ever put on you? Like, oh, you know... Yeah, yeah, from the moment I came out of my mother's womb, <laughs> I think I, was, I had a stethoscope around me. Yeah, so yeah. So I was supposed to be a doctor, but uh, I had no intention. And the moment I could rebel, I just failed my exams. <laughs> uh, Mind that hard to believe. I did. I, I did. I, I wrote my name on the paper and went to sleep. Because they forced me to do physics, chemistry and biology, which I had no interest. Certainly physics and chemistry. So I just wrote my name on the paper and went to sleep. School in general? Was it, you know... I love school, mostly for sport. I was not an academic person. Um, I did enough to get by, but uh, I enjoyed the social part of school and sport much more. You, at the very start, you've already mentioned that, you know, you're in almost every sport. You've got F1, you've got basketball, you've got football. Um, you know, I, I don't know what else is on the card, but generally you're, you're involved. But if you had to, you know, pick from the management point of view, which is the one sport that you, that's on the top of that list? Well, I think the hardest sport to manage is football yeah. um, because of the unpredictability. You know, with the squad we have, we shouldn't be in the position that we're in. Um, but you can't predict players getting injured. You can't get, predict players getting sent off. And, uh, you know, that's just one of those things that happens, right? So. Formula One is more predictable. Of course, mechanical things happen, but and basketball, you know, has been fairly easy to manage. But uh, football has been has been an up and down. You know, on Thursday I was like on a super high, and then you lose on the Saturday, right? I mean, I hate Saturdays now <laughs> because there's so much pressure. So don't you know? call Tony on a Saturday. Bu building up towards the game, you know, it's uh, it's, it's tense. Okay. How do the players react to you As in when you go into the changing room? Well, I don't go in often, to be honest. I go to the training ground more, but um, it's, you know, I don't want to get too involved because it's the manager's job, and uh, that's what I pay Mark for, along with my other shareholders. But uh, I, you know, I, I enjoy meeting them, I enjoy talking to them, uh, but I, I'm not, you know, I don't get involved in the playing side at all. Your life? at least in my opinion, it's almost a mirror image of uh, Sir Richard Branson's life. He went from you know, music into sport, you also went from music into sport, um, and there's a lot of you know, flamboyance about how you do it too. Is he someone that you, you look up to or someone that is... Uh, well, he's, he's, much, he's in a different league for me. I mean, I, I'm not even trying to emulate him. I have no intention to go in a balloon at 36,000 feet <laughs> or and try and cross the Atlantic Ocean. Um, and, you know, no, I don't, I don't try and emulate him because I can't. And I don't think you can emulate anyone. You've got to be yourself, right? Because you'll end up screwing it up. <laughs> so, no, you know, we work together. We have some similarities. 
but we're also very different. Did you have an idol growing up? Did you have one person that you oh, yeah, historically you be you meet a lot of people. Uh, you read a lot. Uh, uh, there's not one person that comes to my mind. People like ancient history, like Alexander the Great and stuff, were were guys who believed in democracy. I'm a big believer in democracy. I'm a big believer in freedom of speech. Uh, I'm a big believer that race and religion are the biggest problems the world faces. Uh, and uh, you know, back before Christ, this man kind of had it. He didn't live very long, but he achieved a lot. Yeah. Alexander the Great. <laughs> um, all right. Um, you by surprise. Uh, I know, totally. Yeah. More to come on Stadium Unplugged with Tony Fernandez, including. Life is about opportunity and you make your chances and you lose them. But you never dwell on the past. You move on.